Hi my loves, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I really wanted to do my current favourites. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. One foundation that I cannot stop reaching out for and is the one I'm wearing today um, is the House Labs Skin Tech Foundation. I use the shade 330 Medium Cool and it's literally in my skin tone in a bottle. It looks like skin, you don't need a lot. It lasts so nicely throughout the day and it just looks like skin but like flawless, you know? It is more on the pricier side but it's worth every Every bit of hype it gets, every single penny, like I bought this myself and I would definitely repurchase this. It's really, really good. And I feel like it would be good for all skin types. A concealer that I have been completely obsessed with is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. If you just look at the state of my concealer, it's very embarrassing, but it's coming to its end of life now. Yeah, I use this most days, especially when I'm going to the office. It just sits so nicely under my eyes and the older I get, the more lines I'm getting under my eyes, which is completely normal, but I just feel like I have to just be more careful with the concealers I'm wearing. and. You know, I feel like some concealers just make me look so much older because it just settles in all the fine lines. But this just sits so beautifully and yeah, you have like 45 seconds working time with this concealer before it kind of like dries down. I've worn it without powder. It does crease like when I don't use powder, I do have to kind of go like this, but I like that kind of, you know, natural skin look without the powder sometimes. But if you want to set it in place, do wear the powder. I like to wear the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder or the Translucent Setting Powder by Laura Mercier. Oh my God, I recently stocked up on this. Um, it's the By Ellie Brow Texture. I use this every day because it's so easy, so convenient, affordable. It keeps my brow hairs in place, especially just down brow right here. This one has got a mind of its own and this one just saves me so much time. It honestly halves the time it takes to do my brows, which is insane. So I cannot live without this. I need to get more just in case they stop doing it because I can't live without it. A lot of other brow gels that I really like, but sometimes you have to get like a spoolie or like wet it with some, some of these soaps. You have to like wet it a bit and like get a consistency. Whilst this, you just pop it out, put it on your brow and you're good to go. It dries quickly. There's no white clumps. Trust me, if you want a good brow gel, get that one. I know I recently tried this but I've been obsessed with this. It's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask but also the Lip Glowy Balm. This is so good and especially the one in the Gummy Bear version. It literally smells like grape soda in a can and it's just it just makes my lips look so hydrated and plump but also hydrating my lips at the same time. So yeah I love these so much. I can't live without it. I can't. This will always be stocked up now. I have also been loving this. It's the Hourglass Glossy Balm in the shade Mist. I really wanna get Lucid. By the way, if you guys want to know my Black Friday wish list, if you wanna see that video, let me know and I'll film it for you guys ASAP. But I really wanna get Lucid in this because this balm is so pretty. I think I used it in my last video. It's stunning. Just makes your lips look really nice and plump. And I also do like the MAC Squirt Balms. It's in my bag right now, but I use that every day in the shade Amped. That's another favorite of mine. I literally can't be bothered to go get it, but yeah, it's like, I use it every day. A mascara that I have been obsessed with, it's one that I'm wearing today, is the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. Now, this mascara makes my lashes look insane but the only thing is sometimes it does transform my under eye a little bit because obviously my lashes are on the longer side and they touch my under eyes and it can smudge and I hate that but I can't stop using this because it just makes my lashes look so good and so quickly I love it I love it so I just have to be careful like I don't you know touch it too, like I don't put too much on my lower lashes or I'll use a setting spray, like the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, and that will lock it in place and make sure it doesn't touch my under eyes and smudge all over, but yeah, it's so good. I cannot stop wearing this bronzer again. It's one I'm wearing today. It's the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade 3 Tan. So you get a lot of product in here. Like it's humongous, like almost the size of my face. The shade is really nice. It blends really beautifully. And yeah, it's just a good bronzer. Like if you, it's, Honestly, it's hard to find good bronzers. I'm not gonna lie. Like ones that are the perfect tones that blend beautifully and easily without smudging or leaving patches. My other favorite one is the Fenty Beauty uh, bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie, but I've run out of that and I was trying to like use some of my other bronzers and then I rediscovered this and I've just 
been using it non-stop. Two SPFs that I have been loving and they're actually both empty now, which is, sucks. This is actually my second tube of the Medic 8 Advanced Day Ultimate Protect um, SPF 50. And this does cost quite a few pennies, but, and it's super glowy, so it's not for everyone. I feel like if you have dry skin, you're gonna love this. And that's why I love it. Cause my, my skin is like getting drier as it gets colder. And this gives the most beautiful, like plumpy glow to my skin. And then obviously the Vichy uh, SPF 50, this is like the Capital Soleil one. Um, affordable, more on the affordable side, and it just wears really nice. It doesn't give that much of a glow. It gives a little bit of a glow. It's very liquidy and easy to blend, which I like. With sneeze, oh my God, that took so much out of me. Why is it so tiring to sneeze? I don't know why it took me so long to try these lip liners, but the Morphe lip pencils in, are these? Li yeah, lip pencils in the shade Bite Me, and sweet tea get it it's so good especially for my brown girls out there this one is sweet tea it's like a matte cork dupe and then this one is bite me bite me is definitely warmer oh my god moisturizer i get so picky when it comes to moisturizer but one that i've been reaching out for a lot is the laura mercier the perfect cream multitasking moisturizer it's more on the watery side it's not like it's not as hydrating as I would like it to be, but do you know what? Like it has rose water and everything in there. And I just feel like my skin has just been a little bit better since I've been using this. Um, obviously I switch up between skincare so much, but yeah, I just noticed that I've been really liking this one. So I'm gonna, so I'm still use it and just see what my skin looks like. I, I know this has been a bit controversial, but I really like the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Press Powders. I don't use it by itself though. I use it on top of the setting powder that I've already used and it just brightens. Like I'm gonna do, show you right now, cause I feel like my face is really shiny right now. I don't know why. Like look how flawless that looks. Yeah, like I said, I don't use it on its own. I would either use my two favorite setting powders, which is the Laura Mercier with the Huda Beauty one, the loose versions, and then top this on top. But it's really nice. It makes your under eyes look so good. And if you don't like too much powder, you might actually like this because my, I gave one to my sister and she's been liking it and she hates powder. And she was like, do you know what? I really like this because it's so light and fine. You, you don't need too much. So I've been really liking this. So I use a shade uh, Pound Cake. Oh my God, I have to include these in here. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm Glowgasm ones. So I use the Glowgasm Pinkgasm one on like everyday looks, like when I'm going to work, it's just more on the lighter side and it's not as bright, but it gives the most beautiful pinky glow on the lips. I feel like my skin tone is like the limit of like who can use this because it's not like that pigmented, but it's enough for me like every day. Um, and, but the new release one, the, so the Pinkgasm Sunset one is stunning. I did a recent like wedding guest get ready with me video and I used this, you'll see. It looks stunning, like it just looks so like beachy and like you're on a holiday. They are just stunning and they never fail to disappoint me. I really like these. So that's it on the beauty and skincare side. So in terms of like movies and series, um, so I, if you're like a horror girly like me, watch Talk To Me. Talk To Me will forever live in my mind, rent free. Like there are some scenes on there, I'm just like, oh my God. And the fact that it was made by YouTubers, it's insane. Like it's so creepy. So if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. I also really loved Oppenheimer. Like I think that was one of the movies of the years where it just, mind I was just mind blown. The fact that that was created and to be honest, did we really need it? No, but someone else was going to do it anyway. So someone had to do it. I don't know. Like, it's just insane. I was just so mind blown and how like he was treated afterwards. You should watch the film. It's really long, but, and I don't really like history films or anything like that, but that was good. You know, your girl loves her books and oh my God, if you haven't read the Akatar series, I think that has, that series made my year. I only started reading like a couple years ago, but Akatar will live, will be my baby forever. If you haven't read Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses and the rest of the books, then please do so. If you haven't already, read the Magnolia Parks series. 
okay? I mean, do you know what? It's super toxic. It's, it revolves around this group of friends that grew up each, with each other. They're called like the Boxer, I think, but in London, they're super rich, filthy rich. And they're just all entwined and like having drama. It's like Gossip Girl, but in London. I didn't watch Gossip Girl, but like apparently that's a perfect description for it. And it's just, I, I thought I wouldn't like anything like this, but I loved every single bit about this. And I actually think I rated most of them like 4.5 or 4.75s. There are some songs I play and I instantly think about these characters. I don't think, I feel like I think about these characters every day, like, especially Magnolia and Julian, Christian and Daisy. It's so good. I love this series and I love, it's just chef's kiss. I'm like a romance or fantasy romance girly. I read One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig and this is definitely more fantasy, I would say. It had a little bit of romance, but it was very minuscule you know the there wasn't much to the romance but it was there i just really liked the magic system in here and it was a really it's like a very dark somber read perfect for winter and i've got the second book now which recently came out so two it's called two twisted crowns and i need to know what happens i need to know what happens so yeah i really did enjoy this i think i gave i think i gave one dark window a four star just because I was craving more romance, but that's just my preference. But nevertheless, this was quite good. Okay guys, that's it for all my current favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like it and comment below so I know that you guys enjoyed it and then I can make sure to film these more regularly on here. Um, and then let me know if you want a Black Friday wish list video because I don't mind doing it either. I do have quite a list. I'm gonna head off. Thank you so much for watching and stopping by. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.